Pete is an experienced skater from the UK, just arrived in Australia. How are you feeling? I'm fine. I spun out for a second. Alright. We're just going to put some stuff in. Hoppo cleans out the wound with saline solution so he can better assess it. Yeah, that's all right, mate. <laughs> he just hit a little bit of a wet patch and he kind of just completely KO'd and hit his head pretty bad. You might have a little bit of con delay concussion as well. Yeah, I'm pretty spun out, actually. <laughs> yeah. so it's just a bit... We're just going to put this bandage on now. Yeah, yeah. All right. I was about 20 foot in the air, grabbing my board. <laughs> Came down head first. <laughs> While Pete is remarkably upbeat, Hoppo is concerned he's done more than cut his head open. So what do you remember like, from the time you were skating yeah. to now? Do you remember much? Just trying to work that out. Uh, oh, <laughs> sake. Uh, I need to go recap my memory. <laughs> yeah, so that's the problem. So that's the problem yeah. we've got, see? So something's going on in your head because you don't really, you're not sure. Bleeding inside the skull, a subdural hematoma, could put dangerous pressure on Pete's brain. Really concerned, actually. He's um, lost, lost the plot a bit, so I think we just got to get him to hospital and get him checked out pretty quickly. Do you still know what day it is? Yeah, you know it's uh, Saturday. Saturday? Yeah. OK. It's not, is it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, I suppose you had a guess. Yeah. He arrived two days ago in Sydney. Um, pretty bad start to his holiday. As they wait for the ambulance, Pete's memory shows no sign of improving. What about now? You got any idea what day it is? Yes, yeah, uh, Saturday. Saturday? It's not, is it? No, it's not. No. It's probably a good idea for you bumped your head. A brain scan will determine how long Pete's Australian adventures are on hold. Chapo and Dunstan have been called to an accident in the skate park. Eden is 10. He's drifting in and out of consciousness after hitting his head. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, mate, I'm just going to lift your head. Okay. Fine, though. Yeah, just, that'll just make it a bit more comfortable for you, mate. Despite the warnings, Eden wasn't wearing any safety equipment. Lifeguards take a head injury very seriously. He didn't have a helmet on, but um, he dropped in and he, he, he went back like that. He flipped at the back of his head, out of it completely. Yeah. His head just sort of bounced off cement. And he was just out, just like that. You can move all your fingers and there's no fing there's no tingliness there. Nothing tingly. His spine appears OK, but being dizzy and nauseous is a bad sign. Now his mother has just found out. Maisie is a nurse and knows how serious her son's injury might be. Lifeguards are reluctant to move him as they wait for paramedics. You hit your head twice, all right? Uh, a, a helmet is a really good thing to have. Get mum and dad to buy. You've got a nice big bump over there. Any pain there, mate? Nothing? I'm just going to keep on going all the way down your spine. Any pain there? Eden's cognitive functions are examined. The blow to his head has affected his memory. He can't quite remember some reasonably basic things. Well, you should remember it's Saturday, it's the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Particularly as we've just gone back, you've just gone back to school, haven't you? Uh, yeah. I know what a head injury can do, and and I was, I was just relieved I didn't see a lot of blood. That's all. But that, that doesn't mean anything either, because it could be internal. So we'll just wait till we get to the hospital. One, two, three. He'll, he'll go and he'll probably have a scan. He'll get, he'll have a physical, and hopefully there'll be nothing wrong. He's probably had a big fight. He's going to have a big lump. A bit of pain, not as much as when he recovers, I can assure you. X-rays and scans will later reveal Eden has a hairline fracture in his skull. He'll spend a week in hospital recuperating. Once a year, from all around the world, skateboarding's biggest names compete in the Bondi Bowlerama. Old hand Sergi Ventura is among the major crowd pullers. This year, he has high hopes of a podium finish. Late in the afternoon, an accident is reported in the bowl. Sergi Ventura hasn't moved since cracking his head against the concrete. Yeah. 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 
no, just, no, just relax, sir. Right just, just relax, sir. You're fine, sir. You're fine. We just gotta relax. Okay. Take a break. Yeah, yeah. Put a clean towel on, sir. Clean towel. Okay, it looked like you were dead. Relax. Heavily concussed and bleeding, Sergi could have significant head injuries. He shouldn't be moved until he receives proper medical attention. Do you want a hand getting up, guy? Some water? After a heavy blow to the head, skull fractures and spinal injuries are the major concern. As a routine precaution, Sergi should go to hospital for tests, but that poses a problem. Should go to hospital, I reckon. I'm good. Yeah, it's definitely worth getting an X-ray because he could have fractured his skull. Yeah. He could have done a lot of things. It's definitely worth getting an X-ray. Want to get an X-ray? Right. The guy said he had a pretty heavy knock to the head. It's a tough blow. He's probably done it a few times before, but you never know. Bleeding in the brain or something. But you know, he's gonna make. He can make his own decision. He's a big enough boy. He just like, fully just slapped on the back of his head, just like smack. Oh, he should have been wearing a helmet, but he was just warming up. He was only just beginning. Like he's a he's been a professional skateboarder for 20, 30 years. So he was actually a backup dancer for Madonna at one stage as well. Um, I think I went up for a backside air disaster, and I kind of came down the wall. And when the sun's hitting on the wall, it kind of gives like a sheen film. And I guess I just hit my head. Sergi is out of the competition, but he's wisely decided to heed lifeguard's advice. My buddy right here is going to take me to the hospital and get checked out and uh, see if everything's okay. When a young boy comes to the tower covered in blood, I know what it's like. I had my fair share of skateboard stacks when I was young. You're scared. Let me have a look. You all good? Thomas from South Africa is concerned he's done more than split his scalp open. It's not broken my skull, is it? it hasn't broken his skull, no. You got a little crack, though. He's got blood literally coming over his eyelids, and he's he's concerned. I want to have a look at the cut and be like, Thomas, mate, it's all right. It's a lot of blood. Make him feel good. There's a lot of blood. It's, a it's not as bad as yeah. the blood makes it. Get yeah. yeah, a helmet, man. What happened? It's sad to get your helmet this year. I'll patch it up for you. So we just mummify up our patients and, until they can get to the doctor. After witnessing countless injuries, very few lifeguards are willing to try their luck in Bondi's skate park. Unless you know how to skate and you're Tony Hawk, stay away from it. I've broken both my elbows skating. I've knocked myself unconscious a few times. Some of those injuries are absolutely horrific. I would not have the guts to do that. 